oh my gosh i forgot i had this bucket of let's see what does that say unsearched worthington diamond mine ore let's take a look and see what's inside that bucket of so-called unsearched diamond ore welcome back to another video miners prospectors and rock counters great to see you all back at the channel in this video we're going to do a review over the unsearched worthington diamond mine or the boxes that were being shipped out well now there's buckets being shipped out and a lot of people are wondering what exactly is this i'm gonna let you be the judge i'm not gonna tell you it is what it is but we all know that lamprite is a rock it's a hard rock brittle with yellow or white spots and if you've been to the crater of diamonds and you have bought the mineral card it clearly tells us that lamprite is a black rock with yellow or white spots and right here i have a huge tub full of lamprite specimens they all seem to have yellow spots or white spots and when you break into it it just continues to have the yellow and white spots it's not a dirt it's not really really brittle some of it's brittle some of it doesn't want to break apart at all it's just a hard rock but if you hit it with a hammer it will crumble up into a powder and we're going to do some processing on this material bust it up We'll get a good look at it with the digital microscope and compare it to real lamprite from the Crater of Diamond State Park. There are different colors of lamprite and that means that since that area was over 4,000 degrees, some of that lamprite got mixed with other minerals. So if other minerals were able to enter this diamond ore, it probably pushed out the diamonds just like this right here they don't work this to find diamonds the early mining companies proved to us that the diamonds weren't in here the diamonds were locked in the gravel deposits that's why there's hardly any gravel at the crater of diamonds and tons of lamprite if the diamonds were coming out of the lamprite it would be complete opposite you would see lots of gravel and very little lamprite that's not how the crater of diamonds is we chase the gravel to get the diamonds not this we got our bucket of unsearched worthington diamond mine ore huh. yeah it open all right let's see what we got here wow it looks nothing like what i just showed you and it's already sticking to my finger like dirt now let's see what we got here nice and wet let you take a look at this and you can read it pause the screen and you can read what it says all right here is a little bag of it's like some gemstones we'll take a look at all that but you can see it comes with a little bag Looks like some jasper. Definitely not much there, whatever that's supposed to be. What is this, heavy minerals? I, I don't know, it doesn't say. Look how easily this just crumbles up to nothing. That's almost like dirt. I mean, th there's no signs of lamprite in this whatsoever. I already, I can already tell you that. We're going to waste our time putting this in water, making centers with the heavy mineral concentrator screen the round screen how we get our diamonds i mean this is not lamprite guys look at that this, there's no black there's no yellow spots there's no white spots and in one of their videos i recall them saying they put a tarp over it i wonder why i mean to me the only reason why they tarp it up is because it would completely wash away this is so much like dirt it would completely wash away versus real lamprite 
is a hard rock that is brittle if you hit it with a hammer i mean it's just not going to break apart that easy like this all right well so far we've uh see that this material is nothing like what i just showed you from the crater of diamond state park and the other lamprite deposits near the crater of diamond state park they have worked those areas for 40 plus years hardly any gem quality diamonds come out of that area if you want to purchase any of that area it's cost millions of dollars um this right here what's going on here at this area i don't know what what to really say about it but i don't think it's uh what they're saying it is this is just clay here i mean that's not even so-called lamprey that's just clay so so far we got a bucket of dirt and clay for 45 dollars oh we can't forget about this little bag with some rocks in it that looks like the same type of heavy minerals you get from the crater of diamond state park I don't see why if this material right here is diamond ore we should be seeing this material in this right here and there's nothing in it i mean it's just dirt but there may be some bigger rocks down in there i feel something that looks like there's a big chunk of yeah that's just dirt that <laughs> just <laughs> that's just dirt guys that's not lamp right I'm not going to go any further with this review because we all know that this is right, not real. So I brought over a couple pieces of lamprite that I gathered from the Crater Diamond State Park. And as you can see, I mean, it's just, it's not brittle. Yes, that did break. It brittles once you crack it. It's just not going to break in your hand most cases. But once you get it to break, it will keep breaking. And it keeps breaking, and you keep seeing yellow and white spots. And it's black. And this is your best chance of finding a diamond in the host rock. It's got to be this right here, black with yellow or white spots. They've been out there for a 100 years. Commercial mining, all types of geologist out there and this is the lamprite that can contain diamonds all the other lamprite is mixed with other minerals since the other lamprite is mixed with other minerals there's a good chance you won't find a diamond in it versus this right here and if you'd like to get a bag of this right here real lamprite from the crater diamonds i have them for sale in my ebay store there'll be a link in the description below you can click on that you can get your own bag of this lamprite and buy you a bucket of this and you can be the judge you can do your own testing but we can already see right here that this looks like dirt you know really easy to break apart and you know, i can't i can't do that to this you know, it takes both hands and like i say this piece it won't break anymore that's pretty much you know it's not wanting to break you know, that piece broke off a little bit, but it took everything I had to break it. Versus this, it just, it just crumbles to nothing with, with ease. It, that took, and you look at my fingers, it looks like dirt. I mean, yeah, I don't know. Something's fishy going on. There we go. We've done the review. We now know that lamprite looks like this, and it doesn't look like that okay we'll keep going with this i'm going to take a piece of this right here off this rock if i can keep a piece it just keeps crumbling crumbling to nothing so we'll go take a look at this little piece right here on my finger under the digital microscope Hiya, 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 welcome hiya, to the hiya, desk. Hiya, hiya. Thanks to all my subscribers. 
I was able to get a new desk. I can make my experiments, videos, check out my diamonds on. Just a nice desk. So thank you. Now it's time to check out the diamond ore from the Worthington mine. And on the left is lamprite from the Crater Diamond State Park. Under the digital microscope, thanks to one of my supporters, he sent me this just to help get my diamonds and minerals, gemstones, help get a better image. And right there it is. There's my finger. You can see my fingernail needs to be trimmed. And it is a little dirty because I was digging in that dirt. If I do some focusing in. There we go. All right. Got them under there. Right now I'm focusing in. I'll turn that one around, get that yellow. There we go. Yeah, if we got this glare, let me get rid of this glare. But there's an idea. Let's take a better look through the computer screen. All right, there's both specimens under the microscope. Here is the lamprite from the crater of diamonds. You can see the yellow spots up close. It's almost some type of crystal formation or like a calcite type structure. Very different from the material from the blue bucket. As you can see, as I move this around, it starts to crumble and there's just pieces coming off of it like it's sand. It, oh, I just crushed it. Ow. Now I'm broken into bunches of little pieces, just like sand. It's almost like play sand. You could probably take a lot of these buckets and break it like I did and have a really nice volleyball court in your backyard. Just look at all the little pieces of sand. Hmm. That's not what lamprite's supposed to do. Well, let's just scoot this big chunk of lamprite over here and take a look at it one more time. Focus in on it. Wow, look at the lamprite from the Crater Diamond State Park. Here's another angle. And here's the back side of it. As you can see, it's still yellow spots with white specks. So there you have it. Thank you all so much for watching the video. If you'd like to see more videos like this, be sure and drop a thumbs up. Thanks to all my Patreons, all my YouTube subscribers. We're almost to 30,000. Once I hit the 50,000 subscriber mark, I'm going to give away yellow diamonds to my YouTube subscribers. So be looking out for those videos. I've given away several Arkansas diamonds to YouTube, my Patreons. There will be more to come. Let's get the channel growing. Share this video out. Yeah.